After several weeks of political tension, Togolese members of parliament on Friday, April 19, finally adopted a new constitution from a presidential to a parliamentary system. The end of the political drama surrounding the constitutional reform that has gripped Togo since the end of March on Friday, the deputies finally adopted a new constitution that had been contested by the opposition just 10 days before the legislative elections. The new constitution, which was adopted on Friday evening by 87 votes out of 87 in the assembly, changes the country from a presidential to a parliamentary system. It, it abolishes the direct election of the President of the Republic and creates the post of President of the Council of Ministers, which concentrates all powers. In the words of the new constitution, the Supreme Magistracy was emptied of its substance and the new president was stripped of all prerogatives. It is the deputies who will elect the head of state without debate and for a four-year term renewable ones. According to the new constitution, the real exercise of power will lie in the hands of the President of the Council of Ministers, a sort of super prime minister who will inevitably come from the majority group in the NA. Fonya Simbe is the leader of the majority party in the Assembly, the Union for the Republic. With the new constitution, it is the post of President of the Council. The head of state had already amended the constitution in 2019, allowing him to reset the counters to zero and run for two more terms in 2020, but he will have been forced to leave power in 2030, which immediately provoked an outcry from the opposition and the civil society who quickly described their votes as an institutional coup d'etat.